How much pressure is there on our third graders in the state now? Some parents are saying there's too much right now because today third graders took the English portion of the TCAPs. Lexi Lepoff talked with some parents and teachers who say this new retention law is creating anxiety for these students. We've had kids who um, have been throwing up and, and urinating on themselves from the tension. Julie Gorman retired from teaching last year after a 30-year career with elementary students. Still involved at schools as a tutor, she says testing anxiety for third graders is the worst she's ever seen it. They've always been nervous, but but they've never expressed it like they have now. It's TCAP standardized testing week for Tennessee students and third graders must get a passing score or risk being held back. It's the result of the state reading law that went into effect last year. It's the tension of, you know, my friend could go on to fourth grade and I may be held back. And that, that's just, that's a lot for us, for an eight, nine year old to have to process. Parents say their worried anxiety will affect students' performances on the test. He's done really well through school. He's getting A's and B's, um, but you never know how he's going to do on a standardized test. My daughter is usually cares, carefree, everything like that. And this morning she was like crying and freaking out. Third graders who score below proficient can still move on to fourth grade. If they pass a retest, go to summer school or have a tutor for their entire fourth grade year. Lawmakers to make this law and now there's all this undue stress is um, a little, it's, it's hard to understand why they would make those decisions. Now it's a waiting game for parents and students. Scores come out at the end of May and parents will decide the best path for their student and if they need to cancel their summer vacation. In Knoxville, Lexi Lepoff, WVLT News. And the retest window is also late May, the 22nd to the 31st. More information on this, WVLT News app for you.